at all the dirt you can clean. All the dirt that I've got to clean. <laughs> Good evening everybody, Calm Biker here. Time for another TDM Tuesday. So we're still working on the TDM. Tonight we're going to be cleaning it. Uh, lots and lots of parts to clean, get it all nice and sparkly for Mrs Tosh so she's happy with it. Uh, before we start cleaning, there's a few things we need to do to protect the bike, make sure we don't do any damage and make sure that we don't make the bike so it's likely to do damage to us later on. One thing that we want to do We've got all these hoses from when we took the fuel tank off. We definitely don't want to get anything in them. So, a few bolts, nicely cleaned. In the end, just stop any liquids, any greases, things like that, getting in those hoses and causing us a problem later on. Sorted. Another thing we need to do you sort out of the calipers. They've still got the brake pads in. The pads are in good condition, although we might change them anyway because they're brakes. But they're in good condition at the minute. They will soak up oils and WD-40 and all the other chemicals we're going to use. So we'll take them out, store them away from all that, so we don't ruin them. Going to start with the front caliper. Just going to whip out these two bolts, take the caliper out, and uh, then we'll get to the brake pads. Uh, just going to give the calipers a wiggle just to push back the pads and that way it'll make it easier to take the caliper off uh, and it'll also mean we can do it without scratching the rims. Just a bit of a wiggle, get the pads out of the way and it comes off lovely. Clipped out, push the pin out, and we have a pair of pads.
you're naughty. <laughs> now one place we definitely don't want to get chemicals is in the engine. So we need to plug here. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use lint-free cloth at the right price. You might have noticed in the background, I don't know, that we've got a bucket here or a washing up bowl full of oil. This is just engine oil. And all we're doing here is soaking the chain in that oil. That will naturally leach all of the muck out of the chain. And then throughout the project all we'll do is probably once a week we'll pop out the bit that's oily, give it a bit of a scrub with the old toothbrush, or you can get a fancy schmancy chain cleaning brush for this if you like. Move it on, pull the next piece in, and that'll continue for the life of this project. It makes sense for us to start at the dirtiest part of the bike and work our way to the cleanest bits. So we're going to start with where the front sprocket was, because that's full of all the old chain wax and lubricants that have been spat off at the front. We've got quite a bit of gunk. We'll just scrape that out first. There's no point in trying to clean that it's a little bit at a time. So we'll scrape out the big lumps of gunk. And then we're going to use WD-40 and we're going to move this chain out of the way first. If you don't know why, well there's a video that I'll link to at the bottom. Go down and check that one out, one of Toshi's videos on what WD-40 does to oil and does to lubricants. Really, if you like having lube on your chain, and you should, you don't want WD-40 anywhere near it. So we'll get the chain out of the way first. And then we can start cleaning. cleaning gonna be using this pink stuff looks a bit like muck off but it's not it's cheapy stuff it's now you gotta be careful with this it does take off powder coat if you leave it on for too long believe it or not so what we're gonna do we're gonna spray a bit of this leave it for 10 minutes agitate it with a toothbrush i have got another one full of water Biker video will be complete without a toothbrush.
that's the bike all rinsed down, all the pink stuff gone. Now we start again. This feels so wrong. But it works so well. That's not too bad, is it, for a 16-year-old brake caliper that's come up a treat with the WD. Slippery as anything now. So, next job, not fairy liquid, this is pure brake cleaner. It's about 8 quid a gallon, so it doesn't have any salt in like fairy liquid will have, and it will cut through this WD-40 like nothing else. You can already feel slipperiness has gone. It just cuts through it. One thing though, you need good ventilation for this. Well this is going to take us all night so you might as well leave us to it. Thanks for watching, ride safe and I'll talk to you all again soon.